One of the most useful features of Excel is called conditional formatting. This is where you can monitor what's happening with a sheet. And you do this by changing the appearance, the color, or whether it's bold or italic. All of this can be changed when you reach a certain figure, a certain date. So this is a great way of monitoring what's going on. Now, we've got a couple of examples here. Microsoft have made this feature much easier now. It's done loads of presets for you. The first thing you do is you highlight the sheet area that you want to monitor. Now, if you look here, we've got some sales people and what they've sold in the first six months of the year. And we want to monitor that. So you start by highlighting that area and you just drag your mouse over that area. Once you've done that, on your home ribbon, you'll go to conditional formatting and you'll see from the menu that pops down, the very first one says highlight sales rules. Now let's say for example, we want to monitor these sales figures to see if any of them have dropped below a certain value. So we choose highlight sales rules. You'll now find that it pops out a menu which has got many presets. Most of them are self-explanatory, greater than, less than, between, equal to. Now we want this one less than, anything that is less than. When we click on that, a little box pops up and it's asking us two things. What value less than? Well, for us, we want to monitor anything that's less than 2,000 pounds. So we can do 2,000. It then says, which color do you want to use? Now, Microsoft have already filled this in with a light red fill. I can choose another color from the list, or I can even go to custom format. This will open up your format cells dialog box. I'll leave it on the default. Click OK. And straight away, you can see any figures that are less than 2000 are now highlighted in the red. Now the great thing about conditional formatting, it is dynamic. So as numbers change, these will change automatically. For example, if I select this one here and change it to something over 2000, let's put 3000 in there. When I enter that, the color is removed. If I choose this number up here and change it to a less than 2000 number, let's say 200, it changes color. Now you can put multiple colors on to monitor different values. So if we want to put another value on, I'm going to highlight the same area. This time I want to monitor anything that goes above a certain value. So I'm going to go to conditional formatting, highlight cells rules. This time I'm going to choose greater than. Click on that comes up with this box and I'm going to monitor anything that goes above 5000. Now of course I don't want to leave it on light red fill so I shall change it to another preset green. Click OK. Once again you can see it's monitoring this quite clearly. And that's your conditional formatting. A couple of things that are quite useful to know is that should you want to remove that, you can highlight the area that you want it removed from. Go to conditional formatting and you'll see down the bottom of this menu is clear rules. And you get a choice. Do you want to clear the rules from what you've just selected or from the entire sheet? If I need to make any changes to these here, then you can click on any one of these, go back to conditional formatting, and if you look right at the bottom of this menu, there's an option that says manage rules. If you click on that, it brings up a dialog box that shows you the two areas that you've currently got conditions applied to. You can see you can delete them from here 
or you can edit these. So you can choose from any of these that you want to change. If I choose this one here and choose Edit Rule, it brings up a box that if you look down in the lower half, it kind of shows me where I can change it. The cell value is less than, but I could change that. Or maybe I want to change the value from 2000 to 3000. Or maybe I don't like the color, so I can change the format. And this is where you edit from here. The number of rules you can have are almost unlimited. If you're working on someone else's sheet and you need to know if there's any conditions applied to a sheet, then on your home ribbon, if you go to the very last button, which is a picture of a magnifying glass called Find and Select, on earlier versions it's a pair of binoculars, if you click on that, if you look halfway down, it says, shall I find all the conditional formatting? And when you click on that, it will highlight the areas of a sheet that contain conditions.